Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy, and today I'm with my uh, NBA shirt again. This one that I wore in that video that I talked about basketball and if I like it now, you know. I decided to wear this because I already wore the other one in my Michael Jordan video, and I, well, I, I only have those jerseys. But anyway, um, so here's the thing, guys. Um, today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting, which is my, oh, my once almost concrete and legit chance to play in the National Basketball Association of America. A long time ago when I was a teenager, I almost joined the NBA. I was such an amazing player. I had such an amazing, you know, uh, point rebound thing in the games. I In high school, I was 30 for 30. You know, I had the, the most field goals made and rebounds and assists and shots in high school. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, I'm just messing. But uh, here's the thing, guys. So the very clickbaity title aside, okay, let me talk a little bit about what it was like for me to grow up in the United States trying to uh, not having any contact with NBA, okay? So basically what happened is this. I was a very tall kid. Still kind of am today. I, coincidentally, I actually measured myself earlier today and I actually, uh, I am about 185 centimeters tall. That puts me at what, five? 11, 6, 1, I have no idea. But anyway, I'm pretty freaking tall, guys. I don't think I am, but compared to certain people, I am apparently a pretty big fellow. But I, I pretty much maintain a relative, the relative same height throughout high school that I am today. I probably didn't grow too much in the past uh, decade or so. So I was very tall. You know, and I was actually, a lot of people wondered why I didn't try out for basketball, you know, not just in the school, but tried to get a, a professional deal in the NBA. Now, of course, at the time, I barely even knew what basketball was. I mean, okay, I knew what it was, but I wasn't a big fan. Not like I am today, you know, because I've been playing a lot of NBA live on this channel. In case you guys haven't checked out, I'm going to leave a link to the full playlist right here. I'm pretty sure that at this point, I probably have a good number of gameplays in there, you know, and uh, it's very, very... Uh, it's hey, what the hell fly stupid freaking it's very strange because like looking back on it today like basketball isn't really the hardest sport in the world if you start playing it at a very uh, i think i don't think any sport is but because i actually did play it with a certain level of frequency in school you know after class or during a uh, gym you know, I would actually have a certain amount of contact with it, you know, and I think I was pretty good, you know, some of my friends said I was okay, you know, with the free throws and the three-point shooting and all of that, you know, I just wasn't really too good at dunking, I couldn't jump too high, even though I did take karate at the time, so I could do some pretty crazy flips and stuff, you know, I wasn't really that good at that, but there was one phase, I think it was probably in the eighth or the ninth grade when I was doing, when I started doing weight training, where I played a lot of basketball with my friends, you know, it was kind of like a, a pastime we had after we were doing the bodybuilding, you know, and I think that it, it was actually really fun, you know, it was really nice, you know, I had no idea how the game worked, I just kind of shot for the basket and passed the ball to my buddies, you know, and it was only, like, even though I was living there in that country and I had contact with the sport and the hype and the fever pitch that it was generating, you know, I still could never really get into it for some reason, you know, and I don't know why. Uh, there was never any amount of peer pressure. My, pre my friends never really tried to force me to like it, you know? Same thing with soccer or football, you know, whatever you're living in the world. So it's the, like nobody ever really forced me to like it. My dad influenced me too, but there was never really like a, 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 any amount of peer pressure. Basketball was the same, you know? Nobody really made me like it. Sometimes my friends would invite me to go play, and if I said no, they'd be like, okay, cool, whatever, maybe next time, you know? And if they had insisted a little more, maybe I could have gotten even more into it, you know? And it is a America's favorite sport, you know. I think that basketball is more popular than, than American football, you know. I don't really, of course it comes down to, to opinion and all that, you know, but I don't know, like maybe the NBA or the NFL, I don't know which one makes more money, I don't know what's watched more, the NBA Finals or the Super Bowls. I know that uh, the NBA Finals actually draw celebrities to the games, you know, and uh, the NFL Super Bowl, they, they focus a lot more on the halftime shows, you know, the singers and all of that crap, so the TV spots, commercials. So I really don't think that it, it it's the same, it generates the same level of as the NBA does. But then again, NBA itself, basketball is a sport that has way too many commercials for its own good, so. Anyway, all of that aside, I think that basketball is a sport that 
it encompasses a lot more than just American culture, you know? It's kind of like a way of life. Like, so even if you've never been a professional player, it feels good to get out there on the court and shoot some hoops sometimes, even if it's by yourself, you know? Because it's one of those sports that you can play by yourself if you just want to kill some time, you know? Like, you don't need somebody to play with you. I think it's actually more annoying if it's like one versus one, you know? Because it's too easy, you know? Like, you, like you do a fast break, you know? You do an ankle break and move, you get past the guy and you score the basket. It's not as fun as if you're playing, for example, two on two, a scrimmage or something, three on three that sort of thing but it's funny you know, like soccer or football I'm always gonna say both of those because I'm trying to cater to both American and uh, European audiences I don't want to piss off either of them so like if you're playing if you're playing by yourself you can kick the ball here and there but you're always gonna have to go back and get it you know you have to if you score a goal you have to go back in the, into the basket and get it again so basketball is one of those things where it, it, it's fun to keep getting the ball as it goes through the hoop or hits the backboard and comes back at you you know so like, I don't know, if you're listening, if you're trying to go for a workout, you know, you just got out of the gym or before you go to the gym, you know, you put on some music with your favorite beats on Spotify and you try to shoot some hoops, you know, I think it's going to be really nice. I actually have a, a playlist of NBA on my Spotify where I took the soundtracks from the songs that I that I heard on NBA Live 19 and I made a playlist with them. You know, it's really nice. It gets me pumped, you know, and I'm not really a big fan of rap. I haven't heard rap and hip hop music in a while, you know. The, the, the only real rap artist that I like is Mike Shinoda, you know, even though he's also a singer, you know, but he has his own project called Fort Minor outside of Lincoln Park, so I've always enjoyed him too. That's already getting into a different topic. But anyway, the thing is that... I don't know, I think that basketball, it, it, it's really getting to me. It's been getting to me a lot, you know, and ever since I recorded that video talking about if I like it or not, I've gotten even more into it. You know, I've played a lot more NBA, you know, I'm even trying to, to get a few friends to come with me and play, uh, and uh, help me play, uh, you know, actually play in real life. You know, I think it's gonna be really cool. So in general, I think it's nice, man. I think that it feels good to actually have a sport, you know, that you can enjoy. You know, I think it's nice for you to get out there to this degree, you know. And in my opinion, I think that it's something that really brings people together, you know. Like, I have a cousin who's addicted to the damn thing, and we would watch it together, but he lives in a different state. But maybe one day, you know, sometimes I watch with my dad. He's also getting into it, too. My old man is starting to get into basketball, which is nice. He got me into soccer or football, you know, soccer slash football, and I'm getting him into basketball now. And uh, both of us have decided to support the Los Angeles Lakers, so that's really cool, too. I'm going to get myself a jersey and record different videos with that as well so it's gonna be awesome but in general guys I think that I'm not done yet I just want to say that in general I think that you know I think like if I had actually taken basketball a little more seriously back in the day I was really obsessed with martial arts I did it a lot we're gonna get into that later talk a lot a little bit about what happened you know but in general I think that I never really was a really big fan of sports to begin with but I don't know like if I if sometimes I look back you know what if I had made a series of different decisions and actually started to play basketball because I was a little good at it and I did enjoy playing it with my friends even though I wasn't the biggest fan in, in uh, video games and stuff like what if I had taken it a little more seriously maybe got out of high school playing basketball like Michael Jordan himself did and Kobe Bryant too what if I was drafted what if I played in the NBA maybe uh started what in 2008 2009 could have still been playing today you know so yeah i'm still pretty young man i'm 28 coming up on 30 so i could i could have definitely still been playing the nba today i would have been a little younger than stephen curry who's in my opinion is one of the best players in the league right now and yeah man you know i think it's bittersweet when i think back on it you know like uh you know, when, when I watch the sport today, it's very dynamic. A lot of stuff happens. It's very pulse pounding. And basketball is a sport that never really stops, you know. People are always, the, the, the guys are always running from one side of the court to the other, you know. And it's really fast paced and a lot of stuff happens. And I think that, like, in a broad sense, it's a very, it, 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 at first it's hard to understand the rules. But I think that when you play it, when you're actually playing it, it comes a little bit more naturally to you, you know. The same way that I, it, it, basketball makes more sense to me when I'm playing NBA Live or NBA 2K when I'm actually watching, you know, because I think that the rules can actually be slightly different. The NBA 2K games are always a lot more realistic, that goes without saying, but I still think that in general, there could be a lot of different things that, um, like a lot of different rules and, reg and regulations, sorry. You know, it took me a while to understand how the NBA playoff series works, you know, how it's like the best of seven, you know, it's like, uh, 
freaking crazy. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me still to this day. Like, uh, like you have to, like the, the same two teams have to play each other a total of a possible six times, and then a seventh if uh, if they tie up the first three games. You know, so imagine playing the same team over and over and over and over again. You know, it's not like uh, in soccer slash football where you uh, you have to, for example, there there's a home and an away match, so you play the same team twice. You know, in your stadium and in their stadium. That actually makes sense, but. I don't know like basketball has a lot of different teams I, I can understand how the guys get so tired or even Michael Jordan suffered from a from a you know burnout you know he didn't really perform too well in certain games so blah. you know if it if, I'm sorry if I'm starting to sound a little enthusiastic towards the end here it's because I'm already recording the last video of the day you know and I'm really really hungry I usually start recording in the early afternoon I keep going you know until it's you know a couple of hours later and I'm still hungry and I haven't eaten so I'm probably uh yeah and there's really not much to say about this you know but I think that I did miss an opportunity to play in the NBA because I could have gotten more into it you know same way that I missed an opportunity to become a, 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 a probably a famous martial artist today if I had kept going you know but more on that in another video I'm gonna talk I've never talked about my martial arts past on this channel and I think it's about time I did you know not because I'm running out of ideas for vlogs or anything no no who told you that <laughs> no it's just I just want to give you guys different topics you know and I've been sharing a lot more about my personal life lately so I think it's uh, makes sense for that to happen what if Chazzy had become basketball player would you guys have watched me would you have been a fan would you have supported the team that I played for <laughs> that would have been nice to think about I have something coming up on NBA Live 19 that you guys might enjoy you know it's gonna be really nice that has to do with this like playing on the idea what if this had happened you know if you guys uh, saw my FIFA 19 gameplays then you already know what to expect you know it's gonna be pretty much the same thing but with NBA <laughs> so I think that's it guys okay that's all I can say for now I just whole I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this you know my dark past in high school and how I should have taken this damn sport more seriously I don't know why I'm banging on my chair you know I think my hands fell asleep I'm trying to <sighs> get the effect here but anyway that's it god I'm tired and I'm starving I'm gonna go eat this is Chazzy signing out for now and as always I will see you guys in the next video ow cracked my neck cracked it again Ugh. oh sorry